Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to have another look at those lovely EX Data Decks. There's Scarlet and Violet EX Data Decks I told you about the other day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some more new cars that have been revealed. We've got an update. We know a whole bunch of stuff. There are freebies available. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit excited. And if I may be so bold as to suggest, maybe you should be too. So I told you about these the other day. And the general thing is that there are eight different decks which are focused around different types of Pokemon. So we've got Grass with Decidueye, Fire with Victini, Water with Greninja, Lightning with Maridon, Psychic with Clefable, Fighting with Maridon, Darkness with Houndoom, and Metal with Melmetal. But do remember we also have the Omakase or Chef's Choice decks, which are basically, you get one of those at random, but you might get one of two extra decks. Remember we talked about this the other day and the fact that actually there are two other decks that are available. We don't know what they are. They haven't been revealed. Some people have been suggesting, and I think this is quite sensible, that maybe those two decks would be Dragon and Colorless. Because if we look at the ones we've seen so far, the only two types that haven't been represented are Dragon and Colorless. So that would make a huge amount of sense. No, Fairy doesn't count. Fairy's gone. Get over it. But my point is, there are two more decks coming. Obviously, the moment we learn what they are, there will be a video on this channel. That's the kind of thing that I do. So these were revealed the other day, and now we've got some extra cards revealed, and we've got some extra information, including, and I like this, this makes me very happy indeed, there's a little bit of a purchase bonus. Basically, if you go and buy two of these decks at the same time, you will receive one original mini item case for every two purchases of the same product. I'm pretty sure what they mean is EX Start Deck and Omakase Start Deck. I don't think they mean you have to buy two of the same deck. That would be weird. According to the website, the original mini item case is just the right size to carry a useless counter and various markers. Useless counter is what Google Translate gets damage counters as, and I, this still amuses me greatly. Put it together with the EX Start deck and enjoy the battle. Cannot be combined with other promotions. At convenience stores, we will also give you a set of Pokemon coins and simple paper playmats that are distributed free of charge at other stores. It will end as soon as it's gone. Some stores will not do it. Love it. Now, it starts on the 7th of July, which is, of course, the release date of the decks. And look, that is three weeks before, well, with current plans, that is three weeks before I get to Japan. Obviously, the World Championships is happening in Yokohama this year. And putting it very simply, this is my excuse to go to Japan. Plus, what am I going to do? Miss Pokemon Worlds? Nah, not doing that, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just desperately hoping that these are still in stock when I get there three weeks later and I get to go and join in and life is good. Don't worry, I will be checking many, 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 many card shops. So that's really cool and that's really nice and it's lovely that we do have this promotion available. It's a little thing, but it's kind of awesome. Buy a couple of decks, get yourself a original mini item case, and that's rather lovely. It's basically a damage counter case, all right? Don't know exactly what it's made of. I'm really hoping it's not paper. That would be rubbish. And yeah, I'm, I'm hooked, ladies and gentlemen. I am hooked. But there are a bunch of other cards which have gone and been revealed from these decks, including some with brand new artists we've never seen before, and that's pretty gosh darn cool. As always, I've done these translations myself. So, you know, I'm pretty sure they're right. Pinch of salt, eh? Also, annoyingly, we now do have really nice, clear looks at the EXs that we didn't have when I made a video yesterday. Boo, hiss, etc. I mean, loved it that we've got them. It's just sad I didn't have them before. So we did talk about Decidueye yesterday, but here is the lovely Camille Rowlet. I'm not a fan, but I know a bunch of other people are. And we've got ourselves the Dartrix here as well. Dartrix for two energy does 40 damage, and you choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to deal 20 damage. It's fine. It, it's not great. General rule is the most interesting card to want to have to pause the video to translate them. If I can translate while I'm rolling, it means they're probably not hideously interesting. 
But there is a new Arbeliever coming here as well. Now, Smoliv, we've got single energy, 10 damage, heal 10. You got 50 HP. That healing 10 is going to be irrelevant. We've got Doliv. Love the artwork on this Doliv. 30 damage, heal 30. You've got 80 HP. That's going to be largely irrelevant. And then we've got our believer we will get to in a moment. Fun little side note, this Smoliv, I believe, is a brand new artist we've never seen before in the Pokemon TCG. And that's just cool, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. That's just extremely cool. As a, as a little side note, and I do think this is very, very interesting. If you want to start, because collecting Pokemon artists is fun. But collecting artists that have been doing it for like a decade is awkward. There are going to be some super expensive cards you can't get. If you want to start a Pokemon artist collection, I'm going to tell you about three new artists in this video. This might be a really good time to pick one of these artists and start a little collection. You have been warned. So I believe then this is a new stage two. Is it worth getting excited? Well, single energy 90 damage on the one hand is good. But this is a stage two. Let's not get excited about a stage two. Not for this. When I get my stage two rolling, I want to be getting KO after KO after KO. Not KOing a basic or an evolving stage one. No. But we also have, for a single energy, heal all damage from one of your bench Pokemon. And look, essentially you got 140 HP. Which means you're not going to be able to take a hit from that many of the big Pokemon in the format. So basically the way this goes is, you kind of give up this. You let your opponent KO this and take a prize. Bearing in mind it's a stage 2 and might not have been the easiest one to get into play in the first place. But, by doing so, you get to prevent a KO on something else. I'm going to let you decide if that's a good trade or not. Either way, it's there. One that makes me exceedingly happy here is we've got a new Chandelure line. And look, I'm an absolute sucker for Gen 5, all right? I love me some Gen 5. Gen 5 makes me happy. Go Gen 5. And Chandelure is one of the best Pokemon from Gen 5. Chandelure is one of the best Gen 5 Pokemon. And that's a good gen anyway. It's my go-to in Pokemon tournament. So, yeah, me and Chandelure, bros. So what about this new evolution line? Well, we got ourselves a Litwick. Single energy, 10 damage, flip a coin if heads you do 10 more. Not terribly impressive, but I love the artwork. We've got a Lampant that can do single energy 20. Or for two energy, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Switch it with their active Pokemon. And deal 30 damage to the new active Pokemon. I kind of love this. You're dragging something from the bench active and doing a bit of damage to it. Now... I mean, there are still very occasionally 30 HP basics, so that could kind of KO those. More often than not, what you're really doing here is dragging something active, which has either got 10, 20, or 30 HP remaining. Lovely. Or dragging something active that you don't think your opponent is going to be able to get out the active. They've used all their switches. It's got a high retreat, things along those lines. I am not in any way, shape, or form telling you that this Lampant is going to be, you know, the next great deck or anything stupid like that. I am telling you this is a genuinely useful attack. But the fact that it's for two energy is kind of rubbish. We've seen this kind of stuff for a single energy before. That is frankly better. And then we've got ourselves a lovely Chandelure. Free energy 150 on a stage 2. Just no. But single energy, 10 damage. And I believe this is 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And this really depends on what you're playing against. Obviously if you're hitting for weakness this is awesome. If they've got, you know, four energy on, you're doing 210, that's quite nice. But for a lot of two or three energy Pokemon, this is kind of awkward. I will say that at the moment, obviously, Gardevoir decks are running around with Gardevoir just, you know, piling energy on. And against those decks, this could actually be kind of fun. Because if they put a load of energy on, firstly, they're going to damage by doing so. And then secondly, you're doing extra damage for the energy they put on. But you're still talking about a stage two. And and I know we say this a lot and I'm sorry, but it's very relevant. We need a good stage two to make it worth it. And then over in the Greninja deck, we have actually got two debuting artists. Now, along with the Greninja, we've obviously got the pre-evolutions here. So we got ourselves a 70 HP Froakie. 
For a single energy, it does 30 damage. And then you flip a coin. If tails, this attack fails. Because 30 for a single energy on an evolving basic is actually really good. So, yeah. Only if you can flip ahead. Sorry about that. We've then got Frogadier. Now, this is a debuting artist. And look, if you're asking me to pick between the three new artists in the set, this one. This is the one you should probably be thinking about collecting. This one is awesome. Two energy. And I believe it says you may switch to the bench. So, basically, a hit and run Pokemon. Two energy 40, I don't like. But being able to switch to the bench is, I suppose, at least, you know, a nice little bonus. Is it great? It's not amazing. Especially for two energy, but it's not too bad. And yeah, I'm just having a quick double check here. It seems to say exactly the same thing that Victini does. And I know for a fact that Victini does have that attack. So yay! Go team! We figured it out. Although, I, I really don't like trying to work it out. Just looking at other cards. I like to read. And I think, I thought I read that. But I've just double checked it and I'm pretty sure we're good. So go team! There is then actually a brand new Lapras as well. Free energy 100, not terribly impressive. And then for two energy, it does 10 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon. It's not terrible. Decent spread, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Also, it's another one of, it's a bit of a, well, trope may be the wrong word. But something that's happening a lot more lately, which is Pokemon cards, where we can kind of see the Pokemon, but we can also see under the water as well. Yay! And all of that good stuff. Uh, very quickly, in terms of evolving basics, because we have some other evolution Pokemon in this particular set. We're not going to spend long on these because they're evolution Pokemon. But we got ourselves a new Clefairy. Lovely Yukimura. Absolutely adore this one. This is awesome. Flip two coins, 30 damage for each heads. But you got a bit too energy on a 60 HP basic. Let's not get terribly excited. Over in the Hound Doom deck, we do have a new Hound Dower. No translation needed. Single energy 10, free energy 70. Although I really do like the art on that one. And then over in the Mel Metal deck, we got a new Meltan. Single energy 20. I don't think we need to spend much more time on it. But it's still nice to, you know, have a look at... Well, have a look at some new evolving basics. It's kind of nice, isn't it? I think it is. Maybe that's just me. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the new promotion. We got some new cars to have a look at. We got a bunch of cool stuff. But now it's over to you guys. Are you excited for the EX Starter decks? Would you take the risk with an Omakase deck? Tell me all of this in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Chelsea Rose, who is one of our biggest supporters over on Patreon and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and for being a very lovely person. But by far, the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.